Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to use basic if statements in Excel 2010. So first of all let's take a look at the data I have. I have um, students listed by a uh, letter of the alphabet here and percentage marks that the students have scored in a test. And what I'd like to be able to do in the next two columns is, in column C, I would like to be able to state whether the student has passed or failed. And in column D, I'd like them to be able to specify the grades A, B, C, D, and so on. So I'm going to work on the pass-fail example, first of all. And in order to determine whether the student has passed or failed, I'm going to use an if statement. Now, if you know about programming, you will be very familiar with if statements, and you can skip forward to later stages in this video. Uh, but if you haven't, then uh, follow carefully what I'm going to say here about syntax. Syntax is a word that describes how an if statement is written. So take a look at this syntax box up here at the top of the screen. And this gives the syntax of a simple if statement. And of if, and then in brackets inside, um, there are three parts to what goes on inside the brackets. The first part is a logical test. So that test, if a condition is uh, true or false. So if it is true, uh, then whatever the value if true, which is in inverted commas, uh, will be displayed. Or if it is false, in other words, the condition is not true, and um, the value in the second set of commas will be displayed. Now to help explain that a little bit better, let's take a look at an example in the next box down here. What we want to be able to do is determine whether the student has passed or failed. So let's uh, assume that the pass mark is 40%. So any mark of 40% or above is going to be a pass, and any mark below that is going to be a fail. So the condition, the logical test that I want to do is, uh, is the value greater than or equal to 40? So in this case here, um, B2 is the cell. Uh, in this case, the number 35 is in that cell, which of course represents a fail mark. So if that value is greater than or equal to 40, well then in here, in my next column, the word pass should be displayed. If it is not greater than or equal to 40, in other words, the value is false, the word fail shall be displayed here. So let's go ahead and type this formula into this cell here. So first of all, as always with formulas, you put down equals. And if you type in the word if, well then um, um, Excel then will display the actual syntax of the if statement here. So the first bit I want to put in is the logical test. So I'm going to go for um, cell B2 is greater than or equal to 40. So that's my logical test that I'm, the condition that I'm testing, a comma. And the next bit then is what do I want to display if the value is true? So if the value is equal to or greater than 40, then I want to display the word pass. So put that in inverted commas and follow it, follow it with a comma. And if the value is false, I'd like to be able to display the word fail. So the next bit is in inverted commas again, type in the word fail, uh, closing uh, inverted commas and closing um, bracket for the formula here and press enter. And you can see that the word fail has appeared here. There's my formula. And the word fail has appeared because, of course, the value of 35 is, is not greater than or equal to 40. Therefore, the word fail should appear. Now, to save myself retyping this formula, I'm going to use Excel's autofill tool to copy that formula down to the bottom of my data. And you can see that uh, Excel has calculated whether the values are above 40, in which case passes are displayed, or if it's less than 40, uh, the words failed are per se. So you can look and examine the data there, and you can see that any values in 30s or 20s will, will display a fail mark, and any value over 40 displays a pass mark. So that's an if statement at its absolute very simplest. You're testing a simple logical condition, uh, putting down a value if it is true, the word pass in this case, and if it's not true, putting the, uh, the word fail down if the value is false. So let's build on this example and see how uh, we can develop this a little bit further. So I'm going to switch over to an, another worksheet here. And in the second example, I want to be able to display the grade. I want to know whether the marks are A, is it an A, is it a B, or a C, and so on. Now, the syntax for the if statement is actually the same as before. If, logical test, that's our condition. If the value is true, we display um, uh, what we want to display. And if the value is false, we, we display another value. Now, we want to be able to display whether the value is A, B, C, D, E, or F for a fail. So we can't use the simple syntax that's here. We need to expand upon it. So in the lower box down here, I have uh, if statements nested inside one another. So these are called nested if statements. 
Now, they're not written like this, but I've, I've broken them down onto separate lines to make it a little bit easier to understand. So the first part of the if statement is, here's my conditional statement, here's my logical test. I've, if the value, let's say the value of a um, score of 85% or over is equivalent to an A, a score of 70% or over is equivalent to a B, 55 equals a C, 40 equals a D, and all other values under 40 is an, uh, an F score or an F grade. So my first logical test is to test is if to get an A, is the value in the cell greater than or equal to 85? If it is, that's the value. If true, the word, the letter A will be displayed here. Now, if it's not true, uh, we move and we put in another if statement. So we test again. So if the value is greater than 70, if that's true, we display the letter B. If the value is false, we nest another if statement. We test again. Is B2 greater than or equal to 55? If that's true, well, then the value will be a C. If it's not true, then we test one more time and we check to see if this value is greater than or equal to 40. If that's true, a D is displayed. If it's not true, in other words, any value under 40, the false value, the value of false is displayed will be in this case the letter F. And then we close our if statement off with four brackets here. A little hint here, the number of brackets, because it can be hard to keep track of this, the number of brackets will be the same as the number of ifs in the long statement. So let's go ahead and use that there. I've got the, the uh, statement um, displayed here in my Windows sticky notes. So I'm just going to copy that full statement there in one line and choose copy. And I'm going to go up to my cell, in this case in column D, to test the grade and insert um, um, the formula in here and press enter. And you can see in the first case, the value 35 is an F because it doesn't meet the conditions for values A, B, C or D. So therefore we're going to get an F. And once again, I'm going to use Windows Autofill tool to copy down to the very bottom of my data here. And I can now see the grades for uh, each of the values. So for example, in line four, a grade B is given for a value of 73. Uh, that fulfills the condition if B2 is greater than or equal to 70, then a B will be displayed. Further down, we have uh, uh, the only A listed here, um, and this is a student with a score of 89%. Uh, that's a pass, of course, and the value of A will be will be displayed because that's the value, that's the true value, because uh, the value in the cell 89 is greater than um, 85. And you can see all my other grades, Ds and Cs and Fs displayed here as well. So that very quickly is how you use a basic um, if statement in Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.